All right, so here's how I end up using the Color Checker Passport. I tend to use it in Lightroom. Uh, what you're going to want to do is make sure you take in RAW under the same lighting that you'd be taking the shots of your pe person there, a shot so that you have a clear bit of it so that they don't have their fingers edging into it like this. See how that goes here? One where we had it where it's a little bit more clear. Ideally, you'd get it where it's nicely focused where you had this but not having the fingers in here, but this is what I've got right now to show us on this video. So we're going to see how it does right now with this. Now we've already installed the software that comes with the X-Rite Color Checker, which is also known as the Calibrate Color Checker Passport Color, color Checker now. So within here, if I go to Export with Preset, underneath it, it's going to have right there Color Checker Camera Calibration. Super simple. I'm going to name it. In this case, let's say back, this was from the shot was taken in 2022 Kevin I Studio. Okay. And I'll hit save. And let's see how well it does looking for it on its own. It's going to make the profile. Process the profile. working hard. And we've got our message. The profile's been generated so hastily. Lightroom must be restarted to activate the profile. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Hit OK. I'm going to quit out of Lightroom. Yes, I really do want to quit. <laughs> I'm going to open it back up. I'm going to go over to Lightroom. Go to my develop module. So right now it's first coming up in just Adobe Color. Those are my presets of ones that I already like, but we want to use one that's new. I'm going to go here and click on those little boxes. And now I'm going to go and look down here for where our new one was that we created, which was, there it is, 2022 Kevin Ty Studio. So that I could easily use it on the regular basis so it comes up there. If I add the little star there, then it'll come up in my favorites as to when I go into your profile of things that come up easily for me to pick. I can pick that now. And so you can see the difference between that versus Adobe Color. So there's that base Adobe Color. There was the one with that Kevin Ty Studio one. Here's my default one that I've been using, which is pretty much going to be pretty similar to it anyway. So you can see, boom, there, that difference from the Adobe standard right to that one that's fixed it up there. Let's look closely and see what really changed a lot here of the tones. And for this case, let's apply that to this one where it's nice and crisp. Okay, look here. Let's look at those colors. So here we're in Adobe color. And I'm going to switch it to that one that we just did. Bam. Okay. So you can see the difference. Let's see the skin tone on his hand of how that goes. Go into that more orangey tones. There you go. And you can see that big difference. Once you have that custom profile applied, then that's the time that you would go and now use the white balance. You can either go use the, the target that's specific to it, or you can use these different custom ones that they have here of the palettes. Right at the center portion, where there's nothing on either side, this will be neutral. See where the little tiny little hump is here? That's the neutral portion there of the, for it. If you want to make it so that your image is cooler by default, you can go and go towards the frosty end here. If you want to make it warmer by default, there. If you're doing it more for people, of, from neutral to going warmer and warmer still from there, you can do so if you want it to have it in specific increments. Or just go and use any of the neutral tones here of the whites. And then as we draw back, we can see that difference that's made as we go and we pick our different white balances from 
what we were originally shot as to now we go grab our white balance there and ta-da that's it that's how i use the custom che color checker there and creating the custom camera calibration there for my individual camera hope that was helpful to you